hello friends welcome back to my channel today i am going to solve a very interesting problem which is from the chapters of quantum mechanics okay so this question was asked in cs year net june 2016 physics okay so in this question <laughs> lx ly lz are the component of the angular momentum operator in three dimension the commuter this commuter may satisfy may be satisfied maybe sorry may be simplified to so uh, they are asking us to simplify this commuter and this commuter this computer commuter can easily be satisfied to this form and let's see how we can uh, simplify it so first thing is that operators in quantum mechanics uh, have the cap over the you know, over the letters so if there is a cap in quantum mechanics then you can uh, understand that that is the operator okay okay so what is the first first concept that you have to understand is the what is the computer commuter so the commuter is uh, is it has two things inside and it has it is enclosed in the square bracket okay so the commuter of a and b is represented in this form and that is equals to a b minus b a okay so if so if a b is equal a if the if if the commuter commuter is a, if if the commuter of a and b is equals to zero or if a b equals to b a then we say that the operators a and b commute okay so then the operators are said to be commute okay so this is an important point that you have to know I also there is also an important there is also another important concept here that is the if a commutes if the commuter of a and a is always zero okay so <laughs> If there are same operator inside the commuter bracket, then that will give you the zero. Okay, so there is this is an important concept that you have to know for this question for solving this question. Okay, okay. Now there is an, imp an uh, there is an important identity based uh, related to the um, commuter, and that is written here. So you can uh, uh, you can uh, remember this, or you can somehow uh, you can understand it also. Okay, so for the timing, you can uh, remember it. Okay, or keep in your mind. So the uh, so this commuter can be written in this way. Okay, it can be written in this way. Okay, so we, uh, we will use this identity to simplify our exp this expression. Okay, to simplify our this expression, you will we will use this uh, our this uh, identity. Okay okay is that this identity you have to remember uh, okay also you have to remember this also okay this and these are the two things that you have to remember okay so so i have applied that uh, identity at this point okay so in this expression i have taken a is equals to so i have taken a is equals to lx and this much quantity i have taken it equals to b and this much quantity i have taken equals to c and i have used uh, the above identity And I have used this identity now. Okay, one minute. So I have used this identity. Okay, to simplify this, on applying this identity, I can e easily arrive at this uh, equation. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you can apply it. Okay, okay. Now further, what I have to do is that I am again going to apply uh, the uh, the same identity in this uh, in this commuter. Okay. So the, and uh, okay, so that I have applied at this point, you can go through it, okay, okay, and this L Z is outside as it is, okay, okay. Further, so this is how I got reached that equation number one. So this is the equation number one, okay. Now at this point, you have to know some basic formula that is the commuter of L X and L Y is equals to I H not L Z, okay. So if you reverse these two terms, okay, if you reverse these two terms, that is, let me write it here. That is L X. One minute, okay. So if you reverse it, okay. like this l y l x okay if you reverse this then what will happen is that okay you will get minus i h naught okay and l z as usual okay so this is what that you will get on reversing this so if you reverse it similarly if you reverse here also 
then here the sign will become negative and also if you reverse at this point then the sign will become negative okay so finally the first thing is that you have to remember these identities okay what i have written I, you can remember it okay in your own way and uh, the commuter of lx and lx is equals to zero okay that is already explained you okay so this is what you have to you need to remember for your future exams and uh, also for this question okay <clears throat> so okay so uh, what i have done is that i have uh, from our my previous uh, <coughs> formulas i have substituted the value at this point okay and uh, th at this point okay i have substituted the values okay and that is power equals to zero because because I, as already explained you okay this uh, <coughs> as already explained you uh, this will be this will be equals to zero okay and i have substituted the value at this point okay and i have substituted the value at this point using the formulas formulas that are already explained below okay okay now since the values are plugged and then i have solved it further like this you can see that okay and then i have taken out this much quantity outside and the and this commuter then simplifies to this form okay and this is our answer so thanks for watching this video friends if you like my video please like subscribe and share with your friends okay friends thanks thank you very much